Hi friends and welcome to my new video. Today we are going to Deep Sea World to swim with sharks. So this lovely boyfriend of mine bought me a shark dive for my 30th birthday, something I've always wanted to do. Today we are headed to Deep Sea World in North Greensbury near Fife and we are going to swim with sharks and we're taking you along with us. Deep Sea World is an aquarium located in North Queensferry in Fife, Scotland. It is situated under the beautiful world famous Forth Railway Bridge. It has stunning views over a flooded quarry and along a cliffside. There is both stair and ramp access down to the site's main entrance. There are lots of activities you can book to do here, like birthday parties, adult or junior shark swims, or night dives for qualified divers. It costs $16.50 for an adult ticket or $11.75 for a junior under 12 ticket and under threes go free. Personally, for the size of the aquarium, I find that price a little too much. I would much prefer the price point to sit closer to £15 for adults. As you come in, there is an exhibit in front of you. At this stage, you can go left or right. Firstly, let's go right towards the Temple of Frogs. Frogs account for 86% of all amphibians with over 6,300 species. If you're a frog lover, then you've definitely come to the right place. There are eight species here at Deep Sea World to explore, but they do like to hide. It's definitely a fun game of find the frogs. In this area, they also have their second most dangerous animal, Godzilla, snapping turtle. You will also see Axolotl, famed for their incredible ability to regenerate limbs. Carrying on after the frog temple, we continue right and go outdoors towards another unique element of this aquarium, the seal harbour. There are three seals here named Laura, Benji and Cody. They usually can be found sunbathing on the beach or cooling down and playing in the three metre deep pool. Seals can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes while searching for food. The green water is due to the water not being chlorinated as chlorine water can damage seals eyes. If we go back to the main entrance and go left now instead, this takes us more into what you would expect to find in a usual aquarium. They have some great exhibits here including areas on tropical fish, Lake Malawi and Scottish seas and rock pools.
continuing into the swamp section, they have tanks with some cool animals, including red belly piranhas. One unique exhibit here is the blind cavefish, which are usually found in Mexico and Texas. They are born with eyes, but they eventually fall out as they grow older. After a few winding tunnels, we come to the reason why we're here, the underwater shark tunnel. This tunnel is the longest underwater moving walkway in Europe at 112 metres long. The tunnel itself is 6.5 centimetres thick, made of acrylic and makes everything look around 30% smaller, so remember that later when we were in there. The acrylic is the same material used by NASA in space shuttles and each panel of acrylic can withstand the weight of two African elephants. The temperature of the water is approximately 12 degrees Celsius and is 3 metres deep. Deep Sea World has one of the largest collections of sand tiger sharks in Europe with six in the tank, the biggest being 10 foot long. There are also plenty of other animals in the tunnel including one angel shark, different species of ray and a whole host of fish. It's almost time for our swim in there, but first off, we of course had to check out the gift shop. The Reefed gift shop is full of the usual things that you would expect to find, but definitely has an extensive collection of soft toys. It also has some beautiful necklaces which come with a mollusk for you to open and to find a coloured pearl to add to your necklace. I bought one of these and they are so cute. They also have some fun homework items and puzzles too in case that's more your type of thing. The aquarium also has a cafe which looks to have a decent selection of food and beverages. So here it is, the adult shark swim. That's me currently trying to equalise my ears in the water, which I do have trouble with generally, but the diving instructors were very understanding and patient with me. Even though it's only three metres deep, I think it took about five minutes for me to get down to the bottom of the stairs because of my ear issues, whereas my partner had no ear issues at all and was able to pop his easily on the way down. The platform you can see up to the left is where the junior shark dives happen. So this adult shark dive experience costs 220 for one person and 380 for two. The experience lasts two hours approximately, which includes the pre-training equipment, the time in the water with two instructors and entry for two spectators to the aquarium so they can watch you dive. We wouldn't have had this amazing footage if it weren't for our friends Jason and Isla. So thank you both for coming with us and watching us dive and filming this for us. If you have any medical issues at all basically, you will need to get your doctor to sign a form to agree that you're fit to do the dive. Before entering the water we had to read and sign a medical form basically saying that we didn't have any medical issues and a waiver. And then it was time to train. We were talked through the equipment and then given our dry suits to put on. These are suits you can wear over your clothes and are asked to wear your clothes during the dive. It is recommended to bring a change of clothes and a towel as you may get wet. We did get a little wet, but not super wet, but we were glad that we had the change of clothes. You are then taken into a small pool which is attached to the main pool to do your in-water training. 
they fit you into a weight belt, your oxygen tank and your mask. The instructor takes you through some tasks which first include being able to breathe through your regulator, kneel and also lay flat underwater. Once these steps are accomplished, you move on to the harder tasks which are to be able to take your regulator out of your mouth, put it back in your mouth and clear the water from it. Then throw your regulator away and be able to find it and put it back in your mouth. Then finally filling your mask with some water and clearing the water away. All of these, of course, while underwater. Once you've shown you're able to perform these tasks, it's time to go down the ladders and swim with some sharks. Once down from the ladders, you walk along the side of the tunnel where your spectators can see you and you can get to say hello. You will then have to cross over an approximately one meter high rock wall. There was unfortunately no way that I was going to be able to manage this gracefully. You then walk along the other side. Remember to look up and around to spot sharks as well as watch your feet for rays, although the instructor at the front thankfully usually cleared a path of any unsuspecting sand dwelling rays. It's then time again to cross over another one meter high rock wall and look like an idiot whilst doing so. Overall we got approximately 30 minutes in the water with the sharks. I felt very safe the whole time and the instructors were super supportive and patient with us as it was our first time scuba diving. Stay tuned for our thoughts on the aquarium and the dive itself next. So what did you think of Deep Sea World in general? Not the shark swim, what did you think of Deep Sea World? It was small and I remember it being. I agree, it was pretty small, but they do have quite unique a unique element of um, the seals. A lot of aquariums, yeah. uh, at least in Scotland, uh, don't really have seals, so that is quite a, a unique aspect. Um, but generally it is pretty small. Yeah. But they do have a good gift shop, the cafe looks really good. We didn't obviously eat in there. The location is really pretty as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? really nice. Okay, the shark swim. What did you think? I really enjoyed it, yeah. I did. I enjoyed it. It was fab. The instructors were great. I definitely think it was worth the price. Yeah, no, definitely. And we, I think we would even pay to do the exact same thing again. Yeah. It was really hard to walk under the water um, because you kind of go down to the bottom and they get you to, to walk because it's only three metres deep. I think it would have been really helpful if they told you to lean forward because I was having a lot of trouble with all the weight on my back, kind of getting myself into a good position to be able to walk forward. Away. Yeah, I was kind of, I was like going like this, <laughs> like I couldn't properly get a step. So I think a good tip that they didn't tell us, um, the instructors didn't tell us, is to kind of lean forward um, when you walk. He did tell you when you were in the water. Yeah, he told me it was in the water, but like I could barely understand what he was saying because obviously he can't talk, so he was trying to show me through his like hand gestures and I really wasn't getting it. So I think it would have been really helpful if before we went in the water, they would have said, you're going to have a lot of weight in your back, so it's going to be really useful to kind of lean forward um, and kind of be at an angle, walk at, like, at an angle. Other than that, 
I can I can't find any faults whatsoever. No. All in all, great trip and would definitely recommend it. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about Deep Sea World or the Shark Swim, please leave them down in the comments below. I will answer any questions you have and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.